Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Testing. All right. One, two, three, four, five. What's the thing where I can hear myself again? That's this one. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. All right. I can hear you. It's only yeah. from one ear, though, so it's weird. Alright, uh, welcome to Blockshit's Field here on this uh, kind of cloudy and cold day. It's supposed to be 62, but I know, right now it's like that just doesn't feel yeah. that way. Uh, that down. So we got the Big Blue uh, going against the Hamilton 1 Generals today. Uh, Hamilton 1 and went 4 and 16 last year. This is their first game of the season. And last year they did not play Swamp Scott. No, so a uh, little fresh track over here. Let's yeah. see how this goes. So uh, Big Blue has had a couple of rough ones starting out the gate, but uh, hopefully they're looking to turn turn the season around a little bit with this yep. one. Turn the wheel. Yeah. 0 and 2 to a score of 6 to 29. Yeah. So, so it, it has not been pretty the past two games. But no. But um, you know this Hamilton Wenham team's a young, a young young team. Yeah, they lost a bunch handful of seniors. Yeah, they seniors. only have five seniors this year. So. Yeah. So. Hopefully the Big Blue and their experience, as they have a kind of, not necessarily senior heavy, but kind of junior heavy team. Mm -hmm. Junior, sophomore, definitely. Yep. So Can uh, use that to their advantage today. Yeah. As we got referees talking to both teams. Two goalies go to shake hands. It's Timmy Sheehan, C, uh, sophomore from Swampscott, and Ben Wood, senior goalie for the Generals. Yeah, this is, uh, I believe, a big game for Timmy Sheehan. Kind yeah, of get some confidence back a little bit. Yep, definitely. For the Swampscott's defense in a, yeah. as a whole, I mean, they've been getting pummeled the past few games. We're going to have Carson Palmer here taking the face off for the Big Blue. Swamp Scott's going to win it off the gate here. As he's going to take it down the left side with a lot of speed. And he's going to slow it down. Wraps it back around and rolls it over to Liam Round Keeney. Pass. Jason Cosby is going to try and make something happen. He's going to shoot it and he oh. does it. He scores! Wow. Early goal here. That was just like every other team against us the yeah. last few games. <laughs> so Big Blue strikes early. Yep. 11.36 on the clock, one nothing Big Blue. It's a fast start, Zach. That's, this I, is I what, like what I see. Yeah, this is, uh, that was that was great. Yeah, Swamp Scott's <laughs> missing uh, defenseman Ronnie Snitowski today. Yep. Just an FYI, senior. So again, we're going to have Carson Palmer here for the Big Blue. And cannot see who that is for Hamilton Wenham, but Swampson's going to retain possession here. A lot of whacking oh going on against Carson Palmer by the Hamilton Wenham Generals. And that's going to cause it to be Hamilton Wenham's ball. That is Lucas Hunt, senior. Passes it over to number 13 of the Generals. Now Charlie Burns has it. Gives it over to number six. Some nice ball movement going on here by the Generals. Kind of slowing it down a little bit, taking a look. Seeing what they want to do. Wonder if they're going to try and set up uh, the front of the net pass here. Oh yeah, I mean we've that we've seen, seen that's that. worked well in the Big Blue yeah. for the past few games, but uh, seen that many times. Whatever they are trying to set up, it's not working. The Big Blue's defense is holding them down. As he rips oh. a shot, and that's going to be a goal. That is um, 
Lucas Hunt. Yeah, Lucas Hunt there. Whenever Sorry if we're a little slow on Hamilton one of his names today. We just got there. <laughs> Roster. Yeah. Didn't have much time to learn it, but um, that was a ripper by yep. number 33, Lucas Hunt there. One shot, one goal for the Generals. So two quick ones here. 1-1 one, one game. Uh, it's it's going to be exciting. I know. We're finally intact for a good close game. <laughs> As, again, Carson Palmer for the Big Blue is going to take it against number 11 of Hamilton Wenham. And Hamilton Wenham gets possession there. That's number 13, Luke O'Connor, taking up the right side. And he's going to slow it down. Passes it off to Charlie Burns. And over to number 30. And it looks like they're just going to try and go about the same method that they did their last possession and kind of just move the ball around and try to look for openings. Yep. And, uh... Now uh, 24, bobbles it, uh, it's Morgan Glofsky, bobbles it, then retains possession, gives it off to number one. Charlie Burns. Charlie Burns. As number 13 here, Luke O'Connor, tries to make a move on Sam Brodsky, does not work. You know, this is kind of the thing that's been happening to the Big Blue is that these other teams, they just maintain possession of the ball in our zone for so long and they take valuable time off the clock. Yep, tire out our defense. Give it, and, and they wait for that open window to shoot and score like yeah. they just did. But uh, So now Big Blue's going to have the ball after the general got ran out of bounds. Number three, Jason Cosbody has it. Gives it over to Christian Urbano. Christian Urbano, that's number seven of Swanscott. He's a senior looking for his first goal yep. as well. Yeah, this, this uh Swampson's been kind of leaning short. on Liam Keeney a little bit here. Yeah, early with the shot. Ripped a shot, but went wider than that. Still big blue ball here. As Christian Urban's going to take it out. He's going to direct his offense a little bit. Okay. He makes a move, but does not work. That's good oh. defense. And Loses number 27 of Hamilton Wenham, that's Daniel. Gringrich knocks it out and they get back possession with some heavy slashing by Liam Keeney of Swampscott. On a, Liam Heaney. Liam, Liam Keeney and Liam Heaney. Yeah, Liam Keeney and Liam Heaney. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's Henny. Oh, uh, yeah, Henny. Probably Henny. <laughs> so, uh, Swampscott ball here. Team Machine's going to try to take it out. Makes a long pass downfield to Sam Brodsky. And he has some wheels, even though he's back on defense most of the time. And uh, there's a whistle. Whistle here. Ooh. Should I go to the middle? Was something that on, something, I don't know, but it's something on Jason. Got his body. I could see him pointing at himself saying, me? We should probably start to brush up on our rules a little bit. I know. <laughs> our I calls. I don't think anyone knows. Is uh, Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton Wenham has the ball now. That's uh, number 24 giving it off to number six here, Brady Scudder. And he's just going to try to take it behind the net. He's kind of slowing things down a little bit as Luke O'Connor now has it. And uh, no, uh, Big Blue's not giving much pressure here, just trying to contain it to the outside. As uh, Luke O'Connor. Uh, yeah, Luke O'Connor tries to make something happen, but he passes it off and is not caught, So, but the ball ends up going out of bounds, so maintains Hamilton Wenham's ball. That is Lucas Hunt with the ball, covered by Jason Cotta's body. Charlie Burns gives it off to number 13, who is Luke O'Connor. Back to Charlie Burns now of Hamilton Wenham. <coughs> so he's going to try to make a move on Carson Palmer. He brushes him off a little bit, but does not get it anywhere. He's 33. Has it again. Rips a shot. And that goes right. wider than that. It'll still be Hamilton Wenham's ball. 
He tried to do one of those shots that's worked well for some of the teams against Swamp Scott in the past. Yep. Those bounce oh, points. Timmy with a great save that there. Was, a, was that a stick save? Yeah. A little lucky, maybe? <laughs> but, no, he uh, knows what he's doing. Yeah, he does. Definitely. But uh, that's what every other team, Pentucket and Newburyport, did against Swamp Scott to score. Yeah. There are few of many goals. Jack Hazel takes up his speed, gives it off to Christian Urbano, tries to make a move, but slips. Now he gives it back to Jason Wathrell, number 13 in Swamp Scott. Keeney has it over to Jason Crossbody. And he's just going to slow things down. You know, this is what I think Swamp Scott needs to do with himself. No. Just kind of just slow down the slow pace it down of the, game. the zone, catch your breath a little bit so you're not constantly going back and forth. Tire that D. Keeney's heavily pressured by. Hamilton on defense, so he backs off. And early he has it now. Over to Christian Urbano. Back down behind the net to Carson Palmer. And then, so here we go. So now they're going to start moving around Some a little bit. Some ball movement. About time. Pick set there. He's going to shoot Jason it. Liam Keeney rips it. Goes wide of the net to the right. And it's still going to be a 1-1 game here at Veloxious Field. As Urbano has it now, he's going to try to make a move. Rips a shot. Ooh. Nice save by the Hamilton winning goalie. Ben Woods stepping up. That was that was a beautiful shot. Looked like it hit off. His, it looked like there. it hit off his body. Maybe yeah, that was maybe a his leg, leg had some of that. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll feel that tomorrow. <laughs> now Carson Palmer has it. Gives it back over to Christian Urbano. Let's see if he can work some of that again. He's going to. He rips it. Goal! Oh. Christian Urbano. First of the senior season. What a shot there. What a shot. Well, it took, to took, him, took him two tries to get it. That was yeah, awesome. He did the exact same move. He just kind of looked for that space. When it opened, he ripped it. A lefty shot. Doesn't look like Ben Wood ever had eyes on that one. As now we're going to have Jack Hazel now taking the face off here for the big Against. Club. Against number 11 of Hamilton One. That was really good ball movement there in the offensive zone. But I agree. That was their the best goal. offensive possession I think they've had That's all year. That's what they need to do and just kind of slow things down a little bit. As That's we're have Drew McCaffrey. Number 14, Drew McCaffrey here. Christian Arbano, who just scored that goal for the Big Blue, giving them the lead. As Rothwell loses the ball temporarily, and Hamilton won him, recovers. And that's number 41, Evan Hughley. And then Swamp Scott shoves him off, and gets the ball back, or runs into their own player there. <laughs> <laughs> Jason <laughs> ran a collision between caught his body, ran into Sam Brasky. Jason caught his body there, but still Swamp Scott ball. He uh, is pressured by Hamilton when crossing the 50, but is able to back off. He's just going to kind of jog it in a little bit. Look to see who he has. Kind of taking off time off the clock here, catching their breath. No real pressure from Hamilton on him yet. As Liam Keeney now has it. Over to Liam Hurley, number 22 of Swamp Scott. And there's a nice pick set there by Drew McCarthy. Loses the ball, but Jason Cos body is able to recover. And he's going to turn it up and back off a little bit. The gap was closing that he saw. Let's see if Rabano's going to rip another shot here. He he's going will. to. Uh. Oh. He definitely ripped it, but he just missed the net high to the right. Yeah, Christian that found out what's working for him is going to taking that shot three times now. Yeah. Kind of rolling off a little bit on the from the left side of that. Kind of just stepping into it and ripping it. Looks like so that's Ke Liam here. Keeney taking it out for Swamp Scott. Yep. Is it okay? So he's just going to wait for play to resume. Am I shaking the camera at all? As we are as well. It's 3.49 on the clock. And it 
does, so off he goes. Jog it out there a little bit. Ooh, thought about like ripping that. it. Liam Early over to Carson Palmer, then Jason Rothwell, and Christian Urbano. Back over to Rothwell. Number 10. Over to Hurley. Nice, really quick movement here by I know. Big Blue. He's thinking about doing a lot of things. He's itching, the itching for that body. goal. Yeah. This guy's probably makes nice, two nice spin moves there. He's going to rip it, yeah. but goes wide to the left. Save Swamp's got ball, though. Yep. He's chewing clock. I feel like this game, they're, they're more in control of the pace. Past Good other sense. games, they've been playing without the ball for most of the game. Yeah. And I mean, Big Blue on offense, I feel they have a lot of talent to make a lot of plays against some of the better teams that they may face. They just need to maintain possession in the offensive zone for longer than they have been. And they're doing that today. This kind of spot he's gonna have it now. Passes it out to Liam Hurley. Kind of a wayward pass, but he saves it. Too, he's able to get it. The speed stair catches up to the ball. <laughs> this is gonna get it back over to He's gonna shoot it. Body. Looks for the shot, but not there. That was a tough shot. He had uh, Hamilton one and defenders draped all over him. But you miss all the shots you don't take, right? <laughs> yeah. Eventually you keep taking them, you eventually you start making them. Now Liam Keene is going to try and make something happen here. And he's going to back off now. With Hamilton one defenders giving him a ton of pressure. Cause body over to Urbano, number seven of Swamp Scott. He's gonna try Ripa. Oh, picked out a little bit of a shot there. As Jason has it. Duck Still it has it. Has it. Oh. Shoots it. Does not go, but. Wow. That was kind of a. Oh, that would, that that would have been, been a pretty cool. Goal. He ducked the handle to one of the defender. It was like an one handed under. And, uh, under number three, Jason Cause body. He was the running back for the Big Blue football team this year, so he knows a little bit about ducking and weaving and <laughs> avoiding people trying to hit him. Coupled with also, also giving a hit. As Carson Palmer is going to rip a shot Ooh. and goes wide, but Jason Rothwell is able to receive it. Over to number 22, Liam Hurley, he now to the outside. He's going to try to cut it to the middle, does not work. He's going to shoot it. He's going to rip it. Ooh. Did that go off the pipe? I think it did. Either way. Let's say Swamp's got the ball. Yeah. A lot of zone time here for the big blue. I know. They've been uh, chewing this clock down pretty well. 135 left. The defense back there is getting some rest. <laughs> Maybe a little bored. <laughs> <laughs> As Jason got his body, he's able to recover that one. The flag flies. It's going to be on Hamilton 1. Another flag. Another one. I believe that's Hamilton won him again. Yep. Christian Urbano has it. He's looking. He gives it back behind the net to Carson Palmer. <coughs> Tennis Swamp's got. Takes around with some speed here. Nice move, but loses the ball. Swamp's got. He's not able to recover, and but there is. Yeah, I, be a I think they'll still stay with the possession here. Well. They just have just under a minute to yeah. get another he goal in before the quarter. The ball. And it looks like. Is it either a timeout or a big. Yeah, timeout. A big blue timeout. So it was a really uh, exciting offensive, offensively wise. Yeah. Really like five or so minutes. We I know. Um, I, I believe the generals really. Only had two opportunities to score it, yeah. because they've had possessions twice. Yeah. Yep. And uh, <laughs> really, just it's only two-one here, but Big Blue's okay. just dominating this game. Yep. A ton of shots on goal, just unrelenting pressure. Yeah. I mean, as it uh, as the game progresses forward, Swampscott's going to get a lot more goals with all those looks they're getting. Yeah, it's just uh, hope that Big Blue can keep this up, yeah. keep Hamilton one them on their heels. Uh, as some much needed scoring here. 
is yet to be done. Yep. That was funny, there's no number 11. Back here, coming out of a timeout, as uh, Big Blue's going to have the ball here. And as we were saying, hopefully they can keep up that pressure that they've been given for the last six or so minutes. I know. Dominating this first quarter. Just, uh, I know in college they have a... Uh, the play clock? Yeah. For, I wonder why they don't have that in high school, but... Now we got uh, Liam Keeney now with the ball, gives it off to Jason Proffel behind the net, over in the side of the net to finish our bottom. Chris Paul's going to have, he's going to look to rip a shot, he does, and misses it just wide left, so it's going to be Swamp Scott Ball here. You know, I wouldn't be surprised though if the referee had something to do with play clock or something like that. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, just getting a shot off. Yeah, just getting a yeah. shot off. Yeah. Jason Proffel yeah. takes a shot. Back over to him, over to Carson Palmer now. Early he has it. Big Blue coming out very energized here in the first quarter. Still two to one, 25 seconds left. Early rips a shot. Ooh, the good save. Saved by the Hamilton one goalie. And now finally it's going to be Hamilton one ball. That's 10 seconds left. I, I'm assuming they'll run it out yeah, as they will. Kinda. Pressure here by Swamp Scott. Six, up, six seconds left. That'll do it. That is, yeah, that's gonna do it for the first. So exciting first quarter yep. here for the Big Blue. It's two to one. Their first lead all year. Yep. And uh, score is not gonna might not show it, but the Big Blues really just dominating this game. They've had probably about a total eight or so, ten minutes maybe of uh, offensive possession. Uh, Hamilton one was able to score a good one and a quick one as well, responding to Swamp Scott's quick one, but they haven't really been able to do much since. We'll see how they come out in the second. <laughs> So just try to focus on that, and, and then the next thing to work on, sort of, to improve your camera work is to think about framing, um, and so that encompasses a few different things. Uh, so like sort of what I was talking about with the uh, with keeping the goal in the shot and playing with your zoom instead of panning around as much, um, we sort of got into the habit of just staying completely wide, which is okay but you still want to be able to see what's going on. So you want to be thinking about how you want to frame your shot. And so, for example, if they're uh, if they're just passing around the outside of the goal like they were for a little at the end of the first quarter here, uh, that might be a better time to just zoom out and get a shot of everyone. 
So that's sort of some basic framing stuff you can start to think about. Uh, but All right, welcome back to the second the quarter the here at Bloxus Field to the one that Sean's got. Electrifying first quarter sort of by the big screen. blue. Uh, and we'll see if they can keep it up here in the second. <coughs> so just start thinking about that What do you think, bit, Aiden, the big blue needs to do okay. to try and keep up that? Yeah, for one well, I mean, pace. well, to, oh, well, to keep up the score in general is eventually as they keep on shooting it, more will drop in. So I think, I honestly think they did everything. Obviously, you can't be perfect, but yeah. they were near perfect in that quarter. They did a lot right. I mean, they kept the ball away from the generals almost for like uh, four-fifths yeah. of the quarter. So it's Very little done wrong by the big blue in that quarter. Yep, has this, um... It's Lucas Hunt there. Swings it out to number 24 on the Generals. That's Morgan Golovsky. See if uh, Hamilton Wem is going to try and chew up some of the clock on their own here. I know. This is number 30 takes it around the net. It's a good look right there. It's number... 13 passes it to 24. That is Morgan Golovsky again. Passes it to Will Stidson. Heavy defense here by the Big Blue. Didn't really see much of that out of the first, but as we see number six there, Eli Zachman giving a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's double team there. You go. Freshman Will Bush right now playing some tight D. Yeah, general's just two o'clock right now. Yeah, I mean, it's one point game. I mean, it feels like Swamp Scott would be up a lot more, yeah. but it's still a one point game. Give the big blue a little bit, taste of medicine here. I know. That is Lucas Hunt passes it to Charlie Burns. Back over to Lucas Hunt. They yeah, just. Trying to find a window there to get a shot up, but nothing. Tom Scott's not giving them any looks. They're trying to set up kind of like that middle guy there. They're just, the opening hasn't, just hasn't been there yet. Yeah. So really just keeping everybody to the outside. Yeah, I mean, had the possession around. now for two minutes, so. Let's see if they can get a shot up here, yeah. at least a clean one. Trying to catch the big so, one yeah. on their heels, but. It's Charlie Burns with it. Back over to Lucas O'Connor. Swings it back to Lucas Hunt, senior midfield. Charlie Burns. Still no shot. <laughs> really good defense here by the Big Blue there. Really holding down the fort here. He's going to get a look right here. He's going to dish it back out to uh, number 13. And Webb's trying to turn up the Jets a little bit here. Jason wrestles him to the ground. Yeah, as you said, Jason's a big football player. It's like he's playing football, everyone's <laughs> playing lacrosse. I feel like every game he's at least bringing someone down to the ground. Hamilton went him down, has the ball for close to three minutes. No know, shot, but Lucas looking, Hunt's going to rip it. Here and that is a goal, I think. They score, I think I just jinxed it. But. Yeah, that's <laughs> two shots, two goals for Hamilton went him. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a tie game here at Blockshits Field. That was yeah, a, that, was a yeah that one, you know, it's a good shot, but looked like it hit Timmy. She and then yeah, uh, just uh, bounced right in front of him. Low right. Kind of hard to track that one a little bit for Timmy Sheehan. And, uh, that was a great possession by Hamilton one of offensively. Yep. Kind of gave the big blue taste of their own medicine. I know, I now we got a, got a tie game now. It's feeling a little weird because actually that first quarter you oh, yeah, thought Swamp Scott had the handle on this one. But by the big blue. Yeah, Carson Palmer now for Swamp Scott taking the face off. 
going to lose, win that one. Knock the stick out of him. Yeah, Liam Hurley's playing hockey. <laughs> Carson Palmer has it now. See what Swampscott can do to Rothwell. Ooh, that was a nice interception there by the goalie. He's trying to set up a cross, cross net pass. To Brodsky, that would have been a good yeah. look. That would have been a dagger, but. Ben Wood swings it to, I believe that's number 27, who passes it to Lucas O'Connor. Generals with it just behind the Schwamscott's net. Their shot accuracy is at 100% right now, <laughs> which in lacrosse is very it's very uh, rare. Got to keep in mind, though, there's only two shots. <laughs> that's Charlie Burns. Yeah, they're going to do the same method that... Uh, did on their previous possession and just kind of just run down the clock, run down the clock tire out this defense they before they get a look oh it's a bad pass there it's fortunate for the big blue I I mean my eyes can be deceiving me a little bit here but it looked like he had a shot tried to pass it out though get a better look yep. didn't work and that is Brady Scudder with it a sophomore passes it to number 30 Will Stitson Ooh. That'll be Swampscott's ball, I believe. Looked like Timmy got there first. He did. Here we go. Jay Demilowitz with it now. And they'll give it to Carson Palmer to bring it up the field. Switch the possession now. Take it himself. Yeah, he has a lot of speed. That's the one thing I've seen so far in this game is that uh, Big Blue might have the speed factor on this Hamilton one general squad. Yeah, I agree with that. It's Christian Urbano is going to look to pass it to Cotta Spotty, who already has a goal in this game. Both of those players do. Back over to Palmer. Palmer is going to... Jump cut right. He's gonna. Looks like he's gonna rip it. He Ooh. does, and just, yeah, that, just over the net. There's a last second push there by a general that knocked Carson Palmer off his feet a little bit. Wasn't able to get as much on that shot as he would have liked to. Yep. It's Liam Keeney with it, scoring leader for Swamp Scott. See what he does with it. He's gonna pass it to Cotta's body. Looks like he's gonna shoot. He does. He misses though. And got ball. Yep, Liam Hurley with it now. Yeah, they're really trying to make up that one point lead they just had. There's a lot of urgency here. Yeah. They're getting good looks too. Hurley with it. He's gonna shoot it and he scores. Nice goal by Liam Hurley. Liam Hurley. Did that go off a Hamilton one defender there? Or? I was just checking I the replay. Yeah. It was a great shot. First goal for the senior. Senior captain. Yeah, ex-hockey and soccer player. No, that's, she's just yeah, that ripped was a clean it top shot. left. That thing had, knew where it wanted to go. That's great. It's a good look by Swampscott. So now Swampscott gets back their one goal lead. It's three to two here. Swampscott with 6-11 left to play in the first half. Jack Hazel looking to win the faceoff. Give the Swampscott another two minute long possession. Cause I feel like that's how <laughs> two minutes or longer, that's how yeah. long every one of theirs has been. Right. Hasn't been uh, really back and forth as we have seen in some periods of the two previous games that we... The flag comes out. Announced. Sam Brodsky looked like the ball got punched out. I don't know if that was a pass, but sure, it doesn't matter. Because it, it'll stay Swamp Scott's ball, I believe, yeah. with the penalty. Should I stay like around this hole? Uh, is that Christian Urbano with it? I believe. Oh, give it to Rothwell to start things off here. Passes it to Carson Palmer, to Liam Hurley, who just recently scored. Keeney swings it to Urbano. Rothwell with it. Back to Hurley. 
Caught his body, they're inching towards the net. Really nice ball movement going on here. Caught his body. He has a shot. Oh, Ooh. yeah, from this angle up in the booth, I yeah. saw that window he yeah. had. He saw that too, takes it wide left. Swamp's got his ball still. Urbano's gonna shoot it. Ooh. They're yeah, just trading shots now. On all three of his shots they've had today, I believe. He's taking it up on that right or left side of the net, kind of rolls around a little bit, steps in, and shoots it. And that's what he, that might be his bread and butter there. <laughs> that's Does Urbano again. again, this time. Hits him with the one of defender. Ricochet's back to him, looking Carson Palmer now. Saved by Ben nice save Wood. There, but. Yeah, so senior Roden Luck is uh, out for this game with yep. an ankle injury. Both ankles, yeah. So. And with Ronnie Snitovsky out, uh, that's the, all three goals have been by the three uh, seniors in this game playing. That's awesome. That's you love to hear that. Yeah. Oh, actually, forgot about Eli Zaklin defense. So yes. he probably won't score, but oh, he'll yeah. prevent he'll prevent those goals. As the generals get a nice shot off, it'll be Swamp's yeah, they ball. Kinda, they almost got us there a little bit. They turned it up fast. It's a quick possession. 4.30 left in the second quarter. Machine taking it up. I say, I say uh, he runs it to the other side and shoots it. <laughs> he has it in I don't know if Coach Becker would be happy about that. <laughs> He's caught his body with a 3v3. Tough defense there by Hamilton, one up. That is Christian Urbano with the ball. Already scored a goal, shot him many times. Over to Keeney. Early he with him now. He's gonna pass it to cut his body. And they're just playing catch. It's yeah. a friendly game of catch. They're just really trying to just move slow around. things down. I mean, yeah. ever since they got back that one goal lead, they're kind of just taking it easy. Mm -hmm. Keeney's going to rip it. Nice move there by Keeney. Good save there by Ben Wood. Save. It'll by save Swamp Scott's ball. Rothwell will take it out. Urbano, f oh, Ooh. I saw that cut by Hurley. I thought that would have been a goal if he were to catch it, but... Pass got deflected. There is Jay DeMillo is there on the defense. Still loose. Yep. I have, oh wow. <laughs> okay. I lost sight of the ball there. Yeah. <laughs> didn't really know who had it, but so the ref will give it to Swamp Scott. Carson Palmer is going to take it up. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he just forcing down off. the field. Number 14 of Hamilton Wenham, it's Ben Mark. Bono will have it. Caught a spot, he will slow it down now. Waiting for the sub to get on. That is Drew McCatherine who's subbing back on the field. Rothwell with it now behind the net. Probably defended by number 48, Luke Tuomi of Hamilton Wenham. Yep. Hurley, he's going to shoot it again. Looks for great another save one. by Doesn't Ben go. Wood. That was a great save again. Yeah, Ben Wood's playing a really good game here. He has many saves. Yeah. He will keep Hamilton Wenham in this one. Mm hmm. Passes it to Samuel Gringrich. Back to the goalie. Fake pass there. Keeney giving him pressure. He's going to pass it to number 10, and there's a whistle now. Maybe Swamp's got ball. He's going to hurry sides. up. Hurley, he has uh, Ben Wood may not be ready yet. That's a heads up play there Yep. by Liam Hurley, just recognizing the situation, knowing it. Caught his body. He's going to fake the shot there. Oh, it loses the ball. And it's a. Uh, Pass that goes all the way to Timmy Sheehan. Back to God's body now. A minute 30 left, I bet. Swamp Scott, with all their long possessions, will take this one to the half. Unless this. Oh, there's a timeout now, so. 
And, uh, you know, one thing with uh, number 22, Captain Senior, uh, Liam Hurley, he swaps guys. Throughout all the sports, he's really an intelligent player. And you can recognize situations where he can catch the other team on the on their heels, as we just saw there. Yeah. Everybody's kind of looking around what the whistle was. And he, he knew it was his ball. He knew that he could run up field and beat the defense, and he did. And yep, his classroom intelligence leads yeah. him to on the uh, on the sports field. Wasn't quite able to capitalize, but that's the type of uh, thing that uh, Liam Hurley will bring uh, any squad. As uh, Big Blue takes a timeout here, and uh, we'll be looking to see if they can keep up some of that pressure. Yeah. I just want to make sure you're, you don't have any issues getting the timeout graphic off or anything. So you just want to make sure when you're doing the timeout time graphic that you have seen one preview. Uh, so did you put the timeout graphic on? And you have seen one preview? Okay. So then on the left side under there where it says um, sources on the bottom left. Um, you're going to be clicking the eye icon next to the one that says timeout. Just fade it again. All right, and uh, so Big Blue's gonna come out of their timeout here. And we'll see if they can keep up some of that pressure that we were previously talking about. Swamp Scott's ball, I believe. Thank. Yeah, yeah, it will be. As they're setting up in Hamilton Webb's zone. This looks like Jason caught his body. He's going to pick up that ball. Probably take it out. Really warmed up here in the booth. I don't know how it is uh, on the field, but on the yeah. Field, but it was freezing in here when we first got here. I know. I was disappointed. I was looking forward to a nice 65 yeah, degrees me too. day. <laughs> I was kind of I was close to wearing shorts to school today because I was thinking it would be really warm, but the weather changed up on us. It's Christian Urbano with it now. It's cradling around. It's gonna pass it to Cottis Body. Cottis Body with one goal already. Shot the ball many times as well, looking for another goal. It's Rothwell with it. Gonna pass it to Keeney. Keeney looking for his first goal of the game. Cuts inside. Loses Heavy the pressure. ball. Ball's on the ground. That is the Generals who is oh. there to scoop it up. Samuel Gringrich loses it though to Liam Keeney. Back to Liam Keeney. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Sean Scott looking to score one more before the half. Yeah, give Keeney it a little with it now. Two goal buffer. Yeah. Keeney with it. Looks like he's gonna lose it. The lost side of the ball, and looks like it's gonna be yeah, Hamilton. No, Swamp Scott's ball caught his body, picks it up, passes it to Keeney. Keeney looking for that shot, loses it though last minute. And that'll do it for the half. All right, so that was a uh, that was an exciting half here. Three to two, Swamp Blue. Scott. I mean, they really dominated yeah. time of possession. Yes, they did. That's why they have yeah. the lead. But on the flip end of that, Hamilton one has been able to capitalize on the opportunities that they've had, as uh, they've had two really good chances, and they they've capitalized yeah. on both of them. And I think, obviously, the star player of that Hamilton Wenham team is their goalie Ben Wood, who, if it weren't for him, this I. The score would be 
a lot bigger than it is. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, Swamp Squad's had so many looks, and they're only up one. Yeah. So. so we'll see you guys coming out of the halftime as Aiden Wolf here is going to get us ready with the yeah. halftime weather report. The post halftime weather report for tonight's girls game that we will also be announcing and the future game. Yeah. All right.
All right, uh, welcome back here to Blockshit's Field. It is a three to two ball game here going into the second half, and uh, Aiden Wolf's here with the uh, weather with report. With the weather report, so it's it's 44 degrees right now. Pretty cloudy out. It's supposed to be 65, so it's a bummer that it's uh, 20 yeah, degrees uh, colder. But their next game is Swamp Squad's next game, at least, is against Winthrop in four days, where it'll be. Uh, High of 48 and pretty sunny, so. Not bad. I mean, the sunny will kind of level all that out, make make it feel like in the 50s. Yes. For the uh, for the girls game later today, starting at six, it'll temperature will drop down a couple degrees to 40, 43. So uh, the players will be fine. They'll be all warm, but yeah. everyone watching the game will be pretty cold. <laughs> so. As uh, Hamilton Wenham started out with possession and is maintaining it through these past few or two minutes as that's number 45 Liam Heaney with the ball he passes off to number 33 tightly defended by Sam Brodsky but number 33 Lucas Hunt comes away with it as now number 13 has it for Hamilton Wenham so it's going to kind of back off and maybe chew up some time as we've seen it's been the frequent yeah, I mean thing that's been happening. The generals had their way at the for the, like, I'd say the first five minutes of the uh, second quarter. It yeah. seems like no, it was just it's gonna stay the same for the third quarter. Is having a long possession. Yeah. Let's just see if a uh, big blues defense can hold down the fort as they have been. As that's number thirty now. It's we'll gonna have it. Ooh, we'll it's great save by Timmy. Hit off his foot. But yeah, number 24 on the Generals had a great look there. That's Morgan Glowski, senior attackman. As now number 33, Lucas Hunt is going to take it out. With Sam Brodsky, number 8 for the Big Blue, defending. Who's shifty. Yeah, he takes it around with some speed behind the net. Tries to make a pass, but does not get it there. He swamps got the ball now. As, uh, he tried to pass that one to Charlie Burns, number 1 to Hamilton Wenham. And it went out of bounds, so it's going to be Swamp Scott's ball. And that's number three for the big blue, Jay Scott Spotty, taking up the field with speed up the right side. With three covering three. Number three, yep. Yeah. Hamilton went covering him tightly. Christian Urbano passes it down behind the net to number 13. That's Jason Rothwell. He's going to give it off to the side to Liam Keeney. Liam Hurley, he's going to have it. Now Jason Crossbody is going to make a move. Looking for the shot, but couldn't get it off. Now Liam Hurley has it again. Coming out a little more energized, or not more energized, but with a... Head of steam. Yeah. Than just uh, trying to maintain possession here. Yeah, they'll give it to Hamilton one of them, I guess. Yep. They're going to call that a pass instead of a shot, so... It'll stay Hamilton Wenham's ball, I think. Yeah, that's what they. Oh, I guess Swamp Scott. Yeah. I was confused because the Hamilton yeah. Wenham parents right below us were cheering and clapping, so I thought it was their <laughs> ball. Now, so Urbano is going to start out with it. Or, sorry, correction, Liam Keeney is. Number two is Swamp Scott. Nine minutes remaining in the third. Is just going to give it over to Christian Urbano now behind the net. Looks for the pass in front. It's Carson Palmer makes its way there to over to Liam Hurley. Now Liam Keeney has it. Quick movement here by the Big Blue. Quick and tight as Liam Hurley is going to try to rip it. Goes off a stick and Jason, caught it, or sorry, Liam Keeney recovers. Ooh. That was almost a very nice move there by Jason Cosby. Yeah, it seems like Swamp Scott's offensive play is start off in a, a large circle, passing yeah, it around, yeah. and then they slowly inch towards the net, yeah. looking for uh, open windows There's to get a, a shot. a mistake there by Hamilton Wenham is going to give Swamp Scott back the ball. Yeah, that was a, some really quick passing there by the Big Blue. A lot more intensity offensively. But as Liam Hurl, he slips there as he tries to make a cut. Keeney has it, number 48, 
tightly defending him over to Carson Palmer, back behind the net to Christian Urbano. Loses the ball but recovers. And now he's going to look out in front of the net, doesn't see anything. Gives out to Liam Keeney, bobbles it, recovers. With uh, number 48 defending him of Hamilton Wenham. As Jason Rothwell has it now, he's going to take it behind the net. Carson Palmer tries to set a pick, but didn't really work. As he's going to come half circle there, pass it out to Christian Urbano. Looking for the shot, but doesn't get it. Now Jason Rothwell is going to rip it, Ooh. and that's a nice save, but bobbled by a, Ben Wood. It's about like a 20 yard shot. Yeah. Like a slap shot in hockey. Yeah, right? From the blue line. And now. Ben Wood's going to have it, number 19. Ooh, almost, almost intercepted by off. Drew McCatherine there. That nice would have been a trouble for been, the Jennings. They, they would have been able to turn it up quick after that. Is number, number 14, Drew McCatherine. He has, he has some speed on him. As now uh, number 33, Hunt? Lucas Hunt has it for Hamilton Wenham. Just kind of jogs it behind the net. And he's going to try and set something up here. Gives it out to 30, Will Stidson. He's going to run it behind the net himself. Hands it over to number six. Brady, Brady, Brady Scudder. Scudder. And he's gonna try to work it around the net and make a pass, but just kind of a wayward one there, but still no harm, no foul, as Hamilton went and covers it. That's number 13 there, trying to make a move. He tries to dish it off. There's a little bit of miscommunication there, I think. He might have wanted to kind of run into the pass and it just didn't happen, so it's going to be a big blue ball. As that was Luke O'Connor trying to connect with uh, number one, Charlie Burns of Hamilton Wenham. Number 10 now for Swamp Scott Carson Palmer is going to take it out. Looking for a pass, but decides to use his legs. And then eventually passes it off to Jason Cost's body. As he is heavily defended by number 12 of Hamilton Wenham. Looking for a shot, tries to make a move. Loses the ball, but almost oh. recovers, and then oh, it's whipped back one. into Ben Wood, the goalie for Hamilton Wenham. Makes a pass over to number 12, Charlie Covery. And he's going to use his legs himself to get it upfield. And he gives it over to number one, Charlie Burns. With Ben Tulsa, number 24, Swamp Scott defending him heavily. Jack Hazel there able to get the ball loose. Yeah, but yeah, gonna be Swamp Scott's ball, I believe. Swamp Scott's ball there, yeah. Maybe set the one out on the generals. Our oh, we lied. Hamilton won ball. As we had it's still three to two here with uh, five twenty four left to go in the third quarter. Now we got Lucas Hunt here. Going to try to make something happen for Hamilton Wenham. Does, that and he does goal. make something happen. Runs it in, rips a shot. Bounce shot. Bounce off the turf, turf right over Timmy Sheehan's stick. 3-3 three, three here at Blockshits Field with 5.04 left to go with the third. Yeah, and to be honest, when Swamp Scott scored with like 30 seconds to start the first quarter, I thought this game was going to be a blowout, but yeah. things uh, yeah. switched over really fast now. It's 3-3. Three to three. Yeah, Hamilton Wenham just kind of stopping Keeping the blows a little bit. Uh, coming out early, as I thought the same thing, but they were able to kind of put put some uh, stop that wound from bleeding, and they've been able to make this a tie game. As now Carson Palmer, number it's 10, flag has it. Thrown, flag so. is going to be on Hamilton Wenham. He's going to take it upfield. Heavily defended by number 33, Lucas Hunt. And now we have a whistle. Gonna, still going to be Swamp Scott's ball as number seven, Christian Arbonne, passes over number 13, Jason Rothwell. Liam Keeney has it. We'll see what Swamp Scott's offensive approach here is going to be as Drew McCarthy, number 14, subs in. As Jason Rothwell takes it around wow. and he scores! What a goal by Swamp Scott! He recognized there's a wide open gap there. Yeah. He saw it. We, we've seen it. that type of goal. Yeah. 
yeah, many does. times, but from yes. the wrong team. But now Swamp Scott, <laughs> Swamp Scott gets it back. As we're looking at the replay here, and he saw that wide open gap in the middle. He took it. Didn't even have the it. option to pass it. Yeah. Just a nice little turnaround shot and goal. That's there his for the second big goal for, I believe, a sophomore. Yep. And that makes this game 4-3 to three with 4.39 <coughs> left to go in the third. Yeah, we got a tight one here. <laughs> it's exciting. As who do we got? We got Jack Hazel for the big blue. He's going to take the face off. Four. And that is going to be, again, number 11 for Hamilton Wenham. Hazel Ooh. squibs the ball up. Let's see who can get there first. It looks like it's going to be Hamilton Wenham. It is. That's number 13, Luke O'Connor, and there's a whistle. Swamp's got ball <laughs> at the 40 as Jason Cosbody goes over to pick it up. Starts out quick here. Hand it off to Liam Hurley. He taking it to the outside. Give it to Jason Rothwell fresh off that goal. Over to Keeney. Just going to pass it around here. As Cosbody tries to make a move, though. He's going to rip it. Ooh. Nice save there by Ben Wood. It's a great save. Yeah, I'm his goaltender. He's really keeping the generals in this game here today. Yeah, that, that shot has some speed on it and that's that a, a bad pass. Bad oh. pass but unable to be recovered by Jason Rothwell. If he did that could have been dangerous for Hamilton Wenham as Jason caught spotty covers it. A tough ball to get and yeah. passes out to Drew McCarvin who's going to take it up the field with some speed. Pass over Liam Keeney. It's going to be wide open as Christian Urbano. Oh, What a save by Ben Wood. He's having himself a day. You can replay that. As he's there, he's hunched over. He might have gotten a little bit of Looked like that hit off his body, yeah. There, yeah. Well, put his body on the line there. It's one point game now, still. As Hamilton Wenham now has the ball. It's number 30, uh, Will Stinson oh. taking it up with speed. He deep, he's going to tie deep the, the defense, game. And he scores. Wow. He just took that he right through Swamp through. Scott's D. Yeah. Timmy didn't even have a the chance to save that one. Swamp Scott's D, and he shoots it low to the left. Similar to a previous goal we've had here today in scores. Yeah, I mean, Hamilton won them. They haven't had that many shots. They've just been scoring almost everyone. <laughs> if it's on target, they've been scoring it. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're they picking where to, where to shoot it very well. And they're putting it there almost every time as... Swamp Scott and Hamilton Wenham prepared to take the face off. <laughs> Is that Hazel or yeah. Palmer? It's Hazel. Yeah, that's going to be Hazel there. So 4-4 four, four here with 3.27 left to go in the third. See if the big blue can respond with a goal of their own. It's been very back and forth. So yes, it has. It's like a good basketball game. Hazel brings it up with speed. Then gives it off to Christian Urbano. Yeah, it's been Swamp Scott up one, then tie a game, yep. and then up one, up and then generals game. tie it. I don't think Hamilton Wenham's ever held the lead, though. No, but they haven't been down more than one. No. Highly contested game here. As we have Jason Cosbody creeping up, looking to do something. Jump. He gets oh. around, loses it for a second, but recovers and hands it off to Christian Urbano there. It's a nice move to get 27 to back off. Now Liam Keeney's going to be behind the net with it. He's going to try and use some speed and does. Tries to get that. Caught a spotty with a rip. It. Saw Liam Keeney there. He's trying to do what his teammate Jason Rothwell just did, but there wasn't as much space. Kind of got closed out and couldn't get the shot off. As he has it now, over to number 22, Liam Hurley. He's gonna try and use some speed here. Unable to get it around. Passes it off. Nice pass there to Carson Palmer, but bobbled a little bit. As he still maintains possession wow. after slipping. That was impressive. There by number 10, Swamp Scott Carson Palmer. As now Cosbody has it at the far 20. Urbano. Gonna try to look for something here. Doesn't get it. As Rothwell recovers. 
That bounce pass. And backs off to the 30 and regroups it. Jason caught spotty now with it over to Liam Hurley. With number 11, Hamilton one covering him. Oh, nice pass! Wow. And goal! Christian Urbano. Again, that, that was, was a beautiful pass by Hurley there. Great awareness there by Liam Hurley. Like see. you were saying before, and it yeah. intelligent in the classroom, intelligent on the lacrosse <laughs> field. Able to see Christian Urbano just standing there in front of them, wide open on the move. As uh, you can see in the replay here, Christian Urbano giving him, pointing at him, saying thank you. <laughs> yep. That's his second goal of the game, right? Yeah. It's two first goals of the season came in the one game. So now five to four here at Blockshitz Field with 140. I mean, left if the to go. if the trend if the trend is uh, correct, the Generals are going to be the one to score next. We hope that's not the case. Yeah, but that's been right. how, that's how it's been going. So as uh, Jack Hazel <coughs> takes the face off here. From oh, everything okay? What's going on? He wins it, and he's going to take it up the field okay, with so speed. Shoots it, one. unable to go. Save swamp shots the ball, left. though. Preview scene one. And then in the bottom left where the sources are, find timeout, click the I, and then hit video. As a swamp scout has it now. It's at number seven, Christian Urbano. That work? He's going to try to rip a shot for his third. Goes off the pipe and goes out of bounds. Got it. Uh, he really likes that rollout kind of move there. And just rip it. Try to catch the goalie moving a little bit. Yep. He's had, I'd say, around 10 shots this game. Yeah. Or just south of it. As now we see Liam Keeney here working around some spot. Hamilton winner. Defenders. It's caused while he passes it over to Christian Urbano. With two goals on the day. Looking for his third. Looking for that hat trick. Yeah. And gives it to Liam Hurley. He who has one today. Nice Ooh. pass again. Unable to be corralled though by Swap Scott. Uh, that was a that would have been a really nice quick hitter there. Set up again by Liam Hurley. But uh, now Hamilton Wenham has the ball. That's Bev Wood taking it out the number one goaltender. Passes over to number 48. And now 33 has it. That's Lucas Hunt. Makes a man fall. And makes a nice spin move, shoots oh, it, and that's no. a goal. <laughs> five that was to amazing. Five. Hamilton wow. him. That was a beautiful makes spin move. Makes a man move. fall, spin move. He, he he got everything. That's on his highlight reel, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, you got to give credit where credit's due, and that was a beautiful play. Um, Bye. Number 33 uh, of Hamilton won him. Wow. Lucas Hunt. That was just very athletic, as you would expect from somebody who plays lacrosse. That's why I don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's 5-5 five, five here. 24 seconds left to go in the third. Back and forth game here. Hotly contested. Let's see if um, Big Blue can try to pull away here. As we are again going to have Jack Hazel taking the face off for the Big Blue. As now we have Lucas Hunt here, number 33, fresh off a goal, passes it over to number six, uh, Brady Scudder of Hamilton Wenham. And he has some speed. He's going to try to take it around the net. Does not work. And he passes it off to number 30, Will Stitson. So now Hamilton Wenham, I wonder if they're just going to try to slow things down a well, little bit here. Quarter's going to no, end. No, they so. do not. Number one, uh, Charlie Burns takes a shot. Well, we got it. We got a tie fourth. game, Zach, going into the fourth yeah. quarter. It's exciting. For sure. And, I mean, it's just been really back and forth here today. It's been very exciting. Very different from the first two games that we've announced. Yeah, we got a – the but, um, Big Blue's making up for those two blowouts with a close game. Yeah, and, I mean, we have both teams here competing for their first win. I mean, this is Hamilton Webb's first game. I'd say they're pretty even if you yeah. – balance out these teams it'd be 50 50 definitely so we'll see what the big blue can do uh, in the fourth
right, so welcome back to the fourth quarter here at Blockshire's Field. It's a 5-5 game. Very competitive one here. Hey, we got a fun one. We're in for a good one. Yeah. As um, both teams go to their respective sides. I'll tell you something, I wouldn't want to miss the end of this one. No. No, this is exciting. This uh, might be the best lacrosse game I've ever seen. I know. Well, I mean, <laughs> you've probably only seen three. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, this one. This one's in for a good one. Let's see what we got. We got Carson Palmer taking the face off for Swamp Scott. In a time where they need the ball most, Brodsky will not scoop it up. It will be number 33 on Hamilton One of Lucas Hunt, who passes it back to Therfogo, number 11, with a nice swim move, running up the field with some steam. Swamp Scott's ball. Or not. No, timeout. Timeout. Hamilton won them. Yeah, I think they uh, called the timeout right before he lost the ball. So yes. when we come back, it'll be their ball. So uh, very energetic mm -hmm. coming out. Uh, Hamilton won them was. That yeah, I mean, you have no choice. As take a look at that, we got some blue oh. coming out here. Clouds are breaking up. I mean, the people watching can't see because it says timeout on the yeah. on their <laughs> screen, but there's some blue skies if you're. Grab Bloxage Field. <laughs> oh, we got a little camera zooming out a little bit. You can kind of <laughs> see it. A little bit of sunlight. Love it. Alright, as Big Blue comes out of the timeout here, let's see if uh, Hamilton Wenham can kind of keep up that little energetic spurt that they had. Yep. Put some pressure on the Big Blue defense to get their first lead of the day. Zach, I am excited to see the end of this one. Yeah. You know, it's almost like uh, this has been a long and hard fought one for the Big Blue, but they've been able to keep keep their heads up and keep the, the lead, if not just keep it tied. And, you know, it shows there's always light at the end of the tunnel as we have some sunlight <laughs> coming through here. Burns passes it back to 13, Luke O'Connor. It's just waiting for something to develop here. Back out to Burns. They're just trying to formulate a play to get a, a nice window. <coughs> All of their shots have been going in, so. Yeah, they're uh, uh, some speed here. Almost. And I think he just missed the net. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Timmy will uh, pick it up. Passes it to Hurley. Well, he was tries on the to get run. It up quick. Keeney makes the play, but loses it. That'll be Burns with it now. Give some uh, nice slashes in there. Well. The junior is running down the field as he loses the ball. Kept in play as Hazel. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, a lot was just going on there, but uh, number 24 on the generals, Morgan Glofsky, senior attackman, misses wide right. It's number six, Brady Scudder with it now. Covered by Jay Demilowitz. Just passing it around. It's number 12. 13, I mean. Sorry. Oh, there's a big collision there. Loses it. It'll be Swamp Scott's ball. Yeah, that was, um, is that helmet a helmet there? Nah, I think it was... Body. I don't, I don't even know. Maybe seeing some different colors after that one. <laughs> Brodsky passes it to Timmy. Timmy's just taking the field. Taking a walk down the field. Rips a pass over to Carson Palmer. 
Bobber with it. He's just waiting for Drew McCatherine to get on the substitute coming in now for Hurley. Behind the Nets, Rothwell to Urbano. Palmer, he might have a window to take a shot. He's going to run to the right. He wanted it. Yep. So it's yeah. Rothwell to Keeney. He's going to pass it to Cotta's body. Yeah, they're just kind of slowing it down a little bit more. They want to try and... Jump cuts right. He's going to shoot it. Oh. And he misses. Oh. That was a... Uh, <laughs> That was a very good decision by uh, Jason Carr's body to try to move around, get that goaltender moving, and then shoot it uh, far left and try to sneak it in. Yeah, Carr's body's good at making good decisions on the field. That's for sure. Rothwell's going to do the same thing he did earlier when he scored, but he misses just above the net, but it doesn't matter as it goes to Urbano. Loses it. It's a great stick by number 48, Luke Tuami. Senior defenseman. I'm a tough time getting out of the zone, though. I know. Luke's giving a lot of pressure. It's leaving. Oh, my God. Generals recover it, though. That's number three. That's a nice catch. going to take it all the way down to Swamp Squad's territory as he passes Ooh. it in front of the net and he miss, misses the pass, but that was uh, the danger zone. That was a really good look there by the Generals. Big substitute by the Generals, sub out at least four men. Still uh, 8.38 left to go here in the fourth. Still tie game at 5-5. Maybe we get some overtime action, who knows? <laughs> Nice oh, spin. what a spin move. <laughs> it's going to shoot gonna rip it. Rip it. Uh, oh, that's a nice save there. Looks like that'll be number 14 on the Generals recovering it. Ben Mark. Defensive midi. <laughs> Loses it. Keeney with it. Oh, what a pass. Oh, but crushing hit, hit the there. Back. He's still down. Get up. He is okay. There you go. The balls. I don't know who has it. I think the ref's signaling for Hamilton Wenham's ball. That might be a tough blow there yeah. for the big blue with uh, number 13, Jason Rothwell. Yeah, he's been a star with that. He's given Swamp Scott a lot of some nice looks on net. Scored a goal off. earlier. I, I, I hope he's doing all right. I hope he just needs a breather. Yeah, he probably just got the wind knocked out of him for a quick second. That was a, just a hard hit right to the back. So. Yeah. It's a nice pass by Liam Keeney, though. Yep. Yeah, Keeney's Behind the back. It's an animal. It'll be... Yeah, he might have just gotten the wind knocked out of him. Hopefully he has yeah, his hands over his head. Taking a seat down. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll be fine. He's a tough man. That's Yeah. Plays hockey. Played hockey with him. Yeah, he is. So I'm Scott's going to take it out. Number 16 passes it to Cottis Body. Number 2 with it. Ian Hurley with it now. Garrison Bomber. So I'm Scott creating a look. Cottis Body with it. Yeah, kind of slowing it down a little bit here. Nice look. Wow. Oh, what a nice save. save again by Ben Wood. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's it's evident now that Coach Beckett wants either Liam Keeney, Cottis Body, or uh, Hurley taking these shots. So they've been taking the last couple shots, but it'll be Hamilton won his ball. Ben Wood is really standing on his head today Having for the dig. Generals. I think that's... Lucas Hunt will take it out. This is their chance to take their first lead of the day. It's number 45 with it. Liam Henney. Hamilton Wenham is with it now. 
Number six, Brady Scudder. Yeah, they're slowing things down a little bit themselves. Yep, that's what you got to do. Slow it down till you get a nice look. Got his body with the coverage there. He's not going to make things easy. No. And number oh, one, ball. Burns falls down, but recovered by his fellow teammate. Guarded by Eli Zacklin. Tough defense there by yep. Eli Zacklin. That is right. It's Will Stidson. It's jogging now. Oh. I thought uh <laughs> I thought Will Stidson number thirty had the ball, like what's going on, but it's actually number thirteen, Luke O'Connor. Covered by Cottis body. Oh they say it'll be Swamp Scott's balls penalty on number thirteen. So. Yeah, we, we don't know what they say. I j I saw the ref doing an elbow. Huh. Like an el putting oh, his elbow yeah, yeah, up, yeah, so yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick turnaround here. Yeah. Oh. 554 left, still a tie game. Coming down to the final few minutes here. Ben Wood has it. Looks like he's going to pass it to number th Oh, it, number three on Swamp Scott. Got his body, kicks it around though. Finally, someone picks it up. Covered by Liam Hurley. Defenseman for the Generals still has it though. Loses it. And they'll say it is Swamp Scott's ball. Liam Early on a quick turnaround takes it. Kicks it. Kicks it to Keeney. Nice move there. Makes a general fall over. But uh, and now we're going to get a timeout. Timeout time out Swamp Scott, I believe. As, uh, yeah, that's a smart call by uh, Coach Beckett. As uh, there was a lot going on, sometimes after when you got stuff going on like that, you just gotta slow it take down. the team over, regroup, slow it over. Yeah. They'll come out; it'll be their possession. So really, really smart co coaching play there. Yep. All right, we are back here at Blockchist Field with 5.17 left to go here in the five, fourth five. tie game. Excitement all around. Yep. There's a lot of buzz in the booth. Hopefully that same, hopefully that's carried on the field, though, for the, on the Swamp Scott sideline, at least. Yeah. It'll be Swamp Scott's ball. As Coach Beckett just called the timeout. Carson Palmer's going to take it. I mean, he's been a threat all game. He's had at least five shots. Won yeah. many face-offs. Has those, has those wheels for legs. Oh, nice start oh, step cut it there. in the middle. It's going to pass it to Urbano. Back to Palmer. One-on-one -on -one now. It's going to spin move. Oh, he's going to lose it, though, but hits it to right. Cottis body, who already has a goal in this game. I'm starting to get a little nervous, Aiden. <laughs> yeah, we got a good one here. That's Urbano with it. 
passes it to Rothwell. It's good sign seeing him back on the field after he got taken out for a hard hit in the back. So it's good to see he's okay as Palmer will miss, but recovered by Swampscott. Nice. Zerbano with it. He has two goals in this game, looking for his hat trick. Dancing around with it. Tight defense by number 41, Evan Huey. It's number two, Liam Keeney with it. Looking for a window to take a shot. Luke Tuomi really using his stick there to fend off Liam Keeney. Oh, Keeney with the the big hit stick. Pushes down the nice there, yeah. defenseman that for the generals. Keeps the Swamp Scott ball. So we got 350 and counting here. Swamp Scott's ball trying to make something happen. Keeney's gonna oh. fall down and did he score did he that? He score that? What a goal! Oh, big blow go. to take the Liam lead. Liam Keeney putting oh his life God. on the line there. I couldn't even see what was happening up here. That Wow, I, you can't even see the ball going. Over. What a goal. Wow. That was Wow. To think, to think that kid's a sophomore. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine what a he'll be doing in two years as a senior. That's number 19. Ben Wood, he really couldn't see what was happening there. No, I couldn't. I, I don't think anyone. could couldn't either. I don't <laughs> even think Liam Keeney knew he scored. <laughs> no. So what a goal. Swamp Scott takes the one-point lead 6-5 to five late in the fourth quarter. You can see the frustration on the Hamilton Wenham's defense after that goal. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. Is it going to go back and forth again? Well... How this game's been going, I mean, Hamilton Wenham's bound to score next. <laughs> That's just how it's been going, so. And Hamilton Wenham will win the faceoff, take it down the field in Swamp's best territory. Oh, he's has, he has a window, but nice good stick, stick by Eli Zach. By Zachman. Eli Zachman. That's awesome. It's Ben Tulsa. On the defensive coverage for Swampscott, number 24. Former hockey player as well. Yep. Hamilton went him needing a score now. Sun's really starting to come through now. Yep. Liam Hurley, nice. he has speed. Going to take it. Oh, he's, he he's thinking shot. He shoots it. Nice save. Good save. Route all over. Ben Wood was Liam Keeney there. Oh. So, yeah. I can't can't haul the, that one in. The angle of his son here might be kind of tough to see the ball a little bit if you're facing uh, Got towards the bleachers. Yeah, I know. Uh, ben Wood's definitely going to have trouble trying to uh, see the ball before losing it in the sun. It looks like from our angle, at least, his sun will be in his eyes. Timmy kind of has the advantage on the far end of the field. Two minutes and 50 seconds left to go here in the fourth. Swamp Scott's ball now. Oh, caught his body, loses it, but he hits it back. That was a nice play just to kind of get out of some trouble there. Yep. Number 10, Brian D'Souza, defensive midfield. He's only a sophomore. Trips up. <laughs> Loses it though. Good play by uh, Brodsky. So he likes it. Liam Hurley with it. Turn He's going to shoot it. There. Looking for a second goal. He misses the wide right. Okay, we got another timeout. And, uh, 224. Yeah. Timeout. Hamilton won him? I think that's Swampscott. <laughs> Either or, there's a timeout on the field. <laughs> And 6-5, uh, to five, Swamp's got 2.24 left to play. The sun finally came out. Really? Yeah. And th that wasn't in our weather report because uh, no. the, the app I was looking at said that it was supposed to rain instead of get sunny. So, <laughs> oh, can never trust those apps. No. No, you cannot. You have to trust former Swamp's got student Michael Ferragamo. Yes. So uh, we'll see if Big Blue can come out of this one and close this one up.
Are they muted in there, Dennis? Okay. It's starting to sprinkle a little right now, even though it says it's not supposed to be raining, so I'm hoping it's just a, a random cloud. We are back. We are back here at Blockshits Field. And we got an exciting one here today, folks. It's six to five Swamp Scott with 224 left. This game has been back and forth all day long. Swamp Scott just scored the last one. So we'll have to see whether or not Hamilton Winham has it in them to tie this yeah, one this up. This game's been tight, as Zach said, all day long. So yeah. it's two more two more minutes left. Eventually it'll end, but hopefully Swamp Scott, it ends with Swamp Scott winning as Swamp Scott will take it out. Okay. That is Jason Guy's body. Interesting to see here whether or not Swamp Scott's going to try to apply some pressure and score kind of a second one, which would be a dagger. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if they score the second one, out. I think it's safe to say they're going to win this game, sure but you don't want to take a shot and miss and then turn over the ball. Yeah, just uh, but, oh my heavy gosh. defense there. Jason, Jason got his body. Maintains possession. Oh my, oh, my God. Really showing his strength a little bit. Yeah. As a Hamilton one was literally on top of his back. <laughs> able to flip All him over. Them. It's 3v3. Number three versus number three of Swap Scott. Hamilton one of um, Flag thrown to the sideline by the ref. As uh, yeah, threes of Hamilton Wenham, number three got the penalty there, which is huge for Swamp Scott. As uh, we got 151 left to go, Swamp Scott leading by one. If I think Swamp Scott offensively is up a man, looks like they have six against General's five defensemen. Yep. So this is a prime opportunity to get a goal. Ultimately, a dagger to end this game. The clock starts running. Keeney with it now behind the net. Passes it to Hurley. Palmer, he's going to slow it down. Yeah, they're just going to play a nice game of catch for the last 90 seconds of this game. That's what we hope. Hoping that's nice. Helpful. Yeah, we'll the prime hope is that... Uh, the generals don't even touch the ball for the last minute and a half. Keeney passes it to Urbano now. Behind the net, they're just playing catch. Keeney back to Hurley. Hamilton Williams starting to give some pressure now as they know that they, this I mean, might they be don't have a choice. They have a to, minute yeah, left to get the ball back. Yep, that's Urbano with it. 60 seconds left officially. Number 48 on uh, the Generals playing tight D. Urbano with it. Passes it to Cod's body. Oh, no, that is. Yeah, that's Cod's body. 40 seconds. One point game. Oh, no, oh, no. Urbano loses it. But. Covered by Wow. Spongo. Yeah, the Generals can't recover. And I think they're going to call a flag on the Generals for that hit, giving Swamp Scott the ball in. i got to tell you, Zach, I think that'll do it. I think, yeah. I think I think uh, this is it. Yeah, I mean, they had an opportunity there. Wood, you know? Luke Twomey was so close to getting that recovery on that ball. But, you know, Swamp Scott's going to stay with the possession. I think they're going to win this game. Yep. I don't want to speak too soon, I mean. Seen it many times. <laughs> Teams blowing leads late in the fourth, oh, yeah, but it's almost safe to say that Swamp Scott's winning. 
26 seconds left here in this game. As gotta clear the flag off the field here. Oh, now they're just gonna call a timeout. Timeout must be uh, Amelon Williams. Yeah, if they're gonna have an opportunity to discuss how they're gonna play this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you think of it, they only have oh. probably 10 seconds maximum to get the ball back. Yeah. Giving them 10 seconds to get down the field. Five, yeah, five or so seconds. And then get down they the only field. have one shot, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. And uh, yeah, we'll see what they can chalk up. Hopefully, it's nothing. Yeah. But uh, we shall see. Starting on the left. All right, we got 26 seconds left to go here. It's going to be Swamp Scott's ball coming out of the timeout. And it's looking like this one's going to be the first win of the season for the Big Blue, which uh, is great, obviously, as we have Liam Keeney here with the ball now. Just trying to work off Hamilton one defenders on the way. Nine seconds and counting. Seven. Down to five as Christian Urbano has it. And that is going to be the game here, folks. The score of six to five, Swapscott, as they go down to celebrate with their goalie, Timmy Sheehan, as they are going to enjoy this first win of the season. And I have my partner, Aiden Wolf. He's going to go down and give you guys a post-game interview with number 22 senior, Liam Hurley, who had a few goals and an assist today. And um, we're also going to be announcing the girls lacrosse game here, which is happening shortly after this one. So until then, we'll be signing off and see you probably in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Great bounce back in. Everyone pulled it together. It's just great, great win from goalie on out. Just excellent performance. Liam, you had you had your first goal of the senior season this year. How how do you feel going in against this Winthrop team next oh, um, we're, Saturday? We're gonna be riding high after this one. This feels good. We're gonna we're gonna come out hard on on Monday. All right, let's go, Liam. Let's go. Thank pleasure you. pleasure watching you today. Let's go, dude. Two interviews.